Hi my name is Matt, welcome back to the shop and today we are talking about ring gaps and don't ignore your ring gaps. If you have to buy some new piston rings, do not ignore your ring gaps. A lot of two-stroke guys will get a kit, they will put their rings in their cylinders and just forget about it. Um, same with the four-stroke guys, you replace your piston rings and you forget about your ring gaps. Your ring gaps do need to be measured and what is a ring gap? Well, let's just start with the very basics. You'll have an exaggerated piston ring like so and what happens is, is when your engine starts to heat up most of the heat from combustion and most of the piston heat leaches through your piston ring and that makes sense because it should be theoretically the only thing that touches the cylinder wall so all the, pe all the heat that is transferred to your piston some of it is removed by oil, especially with oil jets, the squirters that squirt the bottom of the piston. But the rest of it, some of it is cooled by fresh charge coming in. That takes some of the heat away, but then that's combusted and puts the heat straight back into the piston. But a lot of it is transferred through your piston ring because it should be, and generally is, the only thing making contact between your piston and the cylinder wall. Some heat obviously goes down your con rod, but that's not really helping things that much. So, why is your ring gap important? Because when you heat up your engine and start running it in, the ring expands and it expands in every single direction, but one of the ways it does expand is it expands in that actual gap. It closes up that gap. And by the time you are finished and your engine's at optimal temperature, there is a tiny slither of a gap and your manuals and so forth and even some instructions that you get from a new ring kit especially if it's an aftermarket one will tell you the optimum ring gap and they have actually tested this and they just heat up the ring in a cylinder and see how much that gap closes up so why is it important if your ring gap is too wide yeah, you're just going to lose a bit of power you're going to get more gas blow by if there's a big whacking great big gap like we had originally all that's going to happen during combustion is a lot of the high pressure gases and all the rest of it are just going to piss down this uh, gap and you're just going to lose it. Um, another reason why we warm up engines when you do dyno testing is you want this gap to close up so you get more of a seal um, so your combustion temperatures and pressures will be higher so you'll get the maximum amount of power. There's loads of other reasons why you warm up engines but this is one of the reasons. What happens if your gap is too small? Well, what happens eventually is that the rings will butt up against each other. But this is a real problem because if they butt up and there's still temperature, uh, the, the temperature keeps on rising, keeps on increasing, they will push, they will push together and the ring will bow out. It will bow out like this. It can snap, but before it does that, the ring bows out and the ring will bow out it will cause additional friction because there's additional pressure. The actual force is acting against the ring here will be additional. It will oval your piston, but generally the rings are cocked off to one side of the ring gaps, so it will not oval your pist uh, cylinder in the same way piston slack will. It will oval it in a weird way. Also starts causing your rings to flutter because your rings are meant to be flat, and what will happen is, is it will start to do this. It will start to create a parabolic shape like that which means that there's extra stresses put on the rings they will flex and eventually they will snap not only that is it's actually what happens at the end sometimes the rings are pushed out from each other if it goes in that's not so much of a problem if it starts to force outwards because the combustion gases then it's going to start to score the inside of your cylinder which again is a bad thing that we don't want to happen so check your ring gaps if they are too tight when the engine is cold in the way that you've shown or the video that I did about measuring ring gaps and all the rest of it you need to just get a file, get a little needle diamond file or something just file a bit off it you are better to be over size so just say if the specification is 0 0.06 uh, microns or just say if it's in thousandths of an inch or something like that six thousandths or something like that and you measure yours and it's 0 0.07 the gap is bigger than it should be that's fine don't panic just leave it like that it'll be fine you'll lose a tiny fraction of power that you'll never ever know that notice that we didn't have and it's not the end of the world um, but if your ring gaps are smaller than this 
and I mean literally if it's smaller so if it literally measures out that this that is too small and you could have problems make sure you check it out make sure you sort it out and then you will not have problems hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit